recently learning C Sharp as well as playing a ton of the amazing Hades. I put the two together and made a little program here I call Hades Fun Run. Um, it's a PVP kind of uh, mode that allows you and any number of friends to play together. This is not a mod in any way. Uh, it's just a standalone client um, and allows you and any number of friends uh, to play together. Uh, essentially how it works is it's a build randomizer. So it will randomize a set of instructions that you and your friends uh, essentially design the pre-game before you enter uh, and whoever gets the furthest in a run wins otherwise if two or more of you end up defeating the final boss uh, it'll result in an in-game timer and whoever has the lowest in-game timer uh, wins now just to let you know before we go any further um, this video will spoil uh, mechanics so if you haven't completed the game I recommend to back out Anyway, um, so it's this little console looking thing here. Um, we're gonna go through just the custom game. Uh, the quick starts are self-explanatory, um, but if you type one here to start a custom game, um, it's going to ask you a, a few questions on how you would like to play your build. So the first one is to do with rules. So there are some fun little rules that can, um, uh, can be implemented. I've made a huge list of them. Um, and you can choose if you want any. So you can tap yes or no here. So you tap Y and it can also can be combined with a second rule. So I'm also gonna tap Y. Um, now, one of the uh, things that can randomize is what you call your keepsakes, um, which, you know, if you've played the game, obviously, um, it gives you a little enhancement on every floor of uh, the game. Um, but what we do to make the builds a bit closer to each other is we force that the very first keepsake is one of the god keepsakes, which kind of forces uh, that your first boon will be from a certain god. And so in this custom game, if you, if you don't want that, you can choose not to, but I do recommend uh, this to be yes. Um, we then can either randomize the weapons. So in the game, there are six weapons, but there are four different versions or aspects of every weapon. So there's technically 24 different weapons. Um, if you want to randomize literally that it chooses one of all the 24, um, you would tap no here. But if you want a specific type of weapon, so let's say you want to play with the sword, which there's four variants of, you can at least force it to choose the sword and then um, it will still randomize from those four. So if we tap yes here, you can then choose, let's say, I said the sword, so we're gonna type in number one, um, and it's now gonna randomize the sword aspects. Now there's the, um, uh, the heat aspect. So heat is something that makes the game a lot more difficult. You don't have to play with this. Um, you can just tap N here and it won't play. Um, but in this case, I'll show you how it works. So we can tap yes. We, uh, the heat itself is also randomized, including all of the heat modifiers you can choose how high or how low the total heat will be um, so this max heat here for example we're going to write in 20 which is actually quite high from the get-go um, and we'll do a minimum of eight now when we tap enter here it's actually going to do the full randomization for us right um, so it's got the rules um, at the top here it's going to show us the mirror of night um, the infernal arm, so the weapon, a companion, the keepsakes that change on every single floor. And the very first one here is the forced god one I was talking about. And then the packs of punishment, which gives us a level 19 heat. Um, so if I put this to the side, just like this, and I resume the game. So what you would do is you would run the randomizer. You would share a screen with your friends um, of the randomizer or just over voice chat. You want to go to your mirror night. You want to match it to what you've actually got listed here. Um, they do automate the red and the green color. Um, so it does make it a bit easier to make in the game as opposed to just saying shadow presence, chthonic vitality. Um, it also, this mirror of night thing here takes into account if you have, uh, if it randomized the uh, routine inspection uh, heat, which if you know, a lot about the game you'd know that when routine inspection is chosen it actually disables um a lot of the mirror of night choices in here right um so i've automated it so it actually automatically gets rid of these so it's hidden the bottom six which is two levels of routine so we just know it's four red and two green so in here we would switch to four red 
two green, and you don't even have to worry about the bottom ones. They're going to be disabled in a second. I know the rest of this is self-explanatory, but I will show it for those who want full use. Go to your keepsakes. It says that the first one that we want is the Owl Pendant, which is the Owl Pendant. You can also choose your companion here, which it says is the Rib. Now, we wanted a sword randomization, which it did chose, um, but it chose the aspect of Nemesis. So if we go in the swords here, we have the Nemesis. And then for the heat, jump over here and you can follow the list. They're all in order. They've also got gaps for where a specific heat wasn't chosen. So you can see lasting uh, consequences one, jury summons two, calisthenics two, benefits two, Heightened security, routine inspection two, damage control one, and tight deadline three. Ah, uh, sorry, no, that was tight deadline two. Idiot. So, shows 19 here, which it's also 19 here. Hooray, it worked. Beautiful. And then you would just tip start. Um, now you can see it did randomize rules up here. So in this case, it randomized that you're not allowed to buy anything in, in, in your run. So get as far as you can without doing that. Um, and you may not increase your max life on purpose. So it means you're not allowed to buy hearts, things like that. I, I put the descriptions pretty heavily in there. Um, I'll also show you the routine inspection here, just in case you weren't aware. See how it crosses these off? Um, that's why it doesn't show anymore here. Now, I added, um, if you're liking this current randomizer that you've got um, and you just want to keep playing, you definitely can. Um, it says down here, click enter again to run it or type in R to restart it entirely. So if we tap enter, it'll actually just randomize it. it there was no routine inspection. So now we got a full list of the Mirror of Night. It's still staying a sword, but it randomized to something else. Two new rules, and you can do this as much as you want. Um, it you, always remembers your heat levels, etc., etc. Um, you can type R to go back to the beginning. Um, you can either quick start. So the quick starts are quick enter to just randomize something really quickly, um, or the uh, two, three, or four for higher heats. These do not have any rules in them, um, but everything else is standardized. Now, one last thing you can do, if you wish, is in your custom game. Um, let's say we don't want any rules. We don't want a guard boon for the first floor. But this bit here, right? So if you choose not to use a specific weapon, so it it means it'll choose anything from the, the, the entire pool. Let me maximize this a bit, sorry. Um, so let's type no. It'll ask you this additional question. If you'd like to play a multi-weapon run, which uh, for those that are in to the speed running of the game is means you know you're playing multiple runs in a row so if you're confident enough in the game you and your friends that you're going to get through a run um, rather than making it hard with heats or things like that you can choose to get a multi-weapon run so we'll type in three there but you can genuinely type up 224 um, and let's say we're not doing playing with heat you'll now see under the infernal arms here it gives you your first run your second run and your third run um, and, and the ones to change to. This can also still be redone here. Um, I'll just keep going. But yeah, that's it. If you have any feedback or um, ideas that you'd like to be implemented into it, do let me know. Um, you can comment here or catch me on Twitter or, or Discord, which my Discord link is in the game here. Uh, sorry, in the application. Now, if you'd like to download it, a link is in the description. Cheers.